checking out your craziest and funniest Fortnite moments and letting you know how to get a free skin. But unfortunately, Fortnite have kind of messed up. There is no excuse for Optimus not having a built-in transform emote when Kit can literally transform into that. I mean, what even is that? Well, this person may actually have an answer. If we compare this concept made by Ferals of what the transforming truck could look like in Fortnite, you can see that Optimus Prime doesn't have a head when he's a truck. When Kit's emoting, there is a head. You've got to remember, when you're doing these emotes, you can still be shot at, so there needs to be a hitbox. And yeah, the Kit emote was really glitched when it first came out. But the solution could be to simply put Optimus Prime's head on top of the truck so that the hitbox of a skin still works. Like, come on, Fortnite. Hit the like button if you want them to add the transformation emote into the game. We know it's possible. For anyone saying there's no mobility in a new season, yeah, there's, there's a huge bug with mud and, like, infinite sliding that makes you go really, really quick. Like, this will be patched soon if it's not patched already. I do genuinely miss movement, though. I really wish the boomerang had some sort of movement built into it. It feels like I can't get out of situation sometimes. But I guess this can work for in the meantime. It's so broken. Yeah, if you didn't know, this battle pass emote is actually from the lip sync battle that you can see here. And you can see just how similar it is. And it's even the Tom Holland skin doing it in Fortnite. Oh, I knew someone would do this with a new victory umbrella, which looks incredible, by the way. Peely skin, back bling, pickaxe, umbrella, banana. Bananas flying out the contrails, emotes wrapped. You are peelified, my friend. Look what I can do. Interesting. Now transform into a truck. All right, all right. I, Fortnite, surely you've got the message at this point. Which is your favorite desert biome? From chapter one, the OG desert area. I loved all the giant mountains in this area. Chapter two. Look, I loved Colossal Coliseum, but everything else I didn't really enjoy about the desert. Chapter 3 desert, I also really liked and landed a lot of his POIs, but I think I'm going to have to go for the OG chapter 1 desert. So apparently Era's built-in emote has the exact same sound effect used in Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Listen. Listen to like the clock. Grandfather clock. Okay. Oh, what? I mean, this is a stretch. I'm pretty sure... All grandfather clocks sound like this, but you never know. Maybe it is a hint at a Five Nights at Freddy collab. So apparently, animated emojis can now be used on the dead pixel back bling. If you didn't know, if your emoji animated, you couldn't use it as a back bling. Fun fact, that's the exact reason I made my Ali emoticon just a standard still image, so I could use it as a back bling. It looks like animated ones are working as well. Ah, I love this. This person's using the new fire emo, and someone comes along and cooks their marshmallows next to them. Tread the ledge from the Allie Discord has found this hilarious glitch. Look at this. Takes a flopper, lines it up and throws it at the waterfall connecting to the new jungle biome. Watch it. Look at that. It's flown a thousand meters. We've got another angle of a flopper being tracked. If you guys want to send some clips you think would be perfect for me to react to, join the official Allie Discord, link in the description, and send your video in the Fortnite clip section. Tread the ledge and anyone that's included in these videos wins a thousand V-Bucks. So let's take a look at that flopper one more time. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Whoa, I gotta give that a go. Tiny complaint, the new jungle biome sometimes is quite obstructive. Oh my gosh, yeah. Mate, there's like giant plants in your way. Oh, yeah, that makes aiming literally impossible. I've, I've not really come across that too much. But, I mean, look, his whole screen's a plant. This person's made a concept skin called Brachio Bob. The target shows the hitbox for a headshot. There's no way Fortnite would add a skin in with a head that big. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love the concept, but your head would stick out everywhere. Which chapter and season did you actually start? Oh, we got the OG chapter one map. Although I started playing way before it looked like this. Chapter 2, 3, and 4. If I was going to rank the maps, I'd say chapter 1 was probably the best. 3 and 4 are kind of equal. I I genuinely think chapter 2 map was the worst, which I think some people may hate me for. But your boy started in season 1, chapter 1. I've been playing this game for almost 6 years. So we got Optimus Prime, but when are we getting him? You know what? They actually do need to turn this guy into a skin. It's made up of different car parts. Surely they, that could actually be, be a skin. This truck's been on the map, fun fact 
since the very first Fortnite season. It's crazy now to think that we actually have Transformers in game. But this guy needs a skin too. By the way, the reason Summer Meowsles is a bonus skin is probably because he'll be released around the summer event start time. That's a really good point, actually. If we go over to the Battle Pass, this will be available. It just says coming soon. Well, I can kind of predict when I think it will... Oh, no, no. Here we go. 21 days. That's three weeks from today. So today is June the 15th, which means in one, two, three weeks, July the 6th, Meowsu should be available. Now, we'll get our very first update of the season, probably around the 19th or 26th of June. And the summer content should go live as soon as those updates go out, or maybe at the beginning of the July, ready for summer Meowsu's to come out as well. Of course, the summer update each season is massive. Probably the biggest update we'll get this season. And although the secret skin isn't too exciting this season, I cannot wait to see what the summer update brings. Jungle season, time to rock out the jungle skin. Oh, this is perfect. The Sidewinder skin. And of course, Indiana Jones. They actually works so well with this season. Ooh, another favorite season post. So we've got chapter one, season two. Chapter two, season two. Oh, this is probably the hardest decision ever. One, Black Knight, very first battle pass. So many memories. Two, Midas, all the bosses, all the mythics. One of the best seasons ever. Three, the resistance, which brought no builds mode and my icon skin to the game. I'm sorry, Mega, but you're right at the bottom. I genuinely don't know which I could pick between these. I'm gonna say the resistance season just because of my icon skin, but I don't know they're all in Incredible. 1,000 IQ island play. All right, come on. The island is always very contested. Not... Oh. Oh. You didn't know where you're looking is where the rock will go. Oh. Damn. Okay, flying up. Flying up. Bit buggy in replay mode. Oh. <laughs> no. At this point, I genuinely thought you'd pulled it off. Apparently, this guy got absolutely screwed over. Goes into a rift. It doesn't show that the flag is being captured. Though I did hear a bit of an audio sound there. And both of his shots just completely whiff him. Like, literally all the bullets should be on him. And then literally all the bullets should be on him. Yeah, mate, you got screwed there. With the new jungle theme, would it make sense to bring back the reality saplings? These were very much tied to the reality tree, but I did enjoy being able to go to the same spot every game, guaranteeing yourself some good loot. I wouldn't mind it coming back. What other collabs could come this season? Ooh, Avatar. With the new film that come out, Avatar and Fortnite would be sick. Tarzan, The Rock, Jack Black, Arnie himself. We've already had the Predator. Solid Snake. Lots of possibilities. Behold, the ultimate loot of Chapter 4, Season 3. Yeah, mate, that is pretty impressive. I don't think you're getting any better than that. Although, when the new Mythic MK Alpha comes to the game, I'd maybe replace it with the Flapjack. But at the moment, that's solid. Death from above. I've got to see this. Oh, he's got the perk on, so he jumps higher. Flying up in the air, pulling out the cannon. Three, two, one. Ooh! Mate, it's so accurate and good. Look at that. Oh, this is amazing. This is actually amazing. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> that is so fun. Imagine walking around and seeing an up, down Miles Morales. Kind of makes sense. Spidey upside down, web swinging around. Not the weirdest skin in the world to be doing upside down stuff, but it looks absolutely hilarious. <laughs> what the heck? Guys, there's a free skin for everyone that has a PlayStation account. I'm on the website store for PlayStation, logged into my account. And if you go on, you can now get the true colors pack completely for free. You don't even need to boot up your console. You can actually just do it online. And boom, I have now got her for free. This is what it looks like when you unlock her. Got an awesome skirt. I absolutely love her hair. Super colorful skin. One of the coolest free ones we've had from PlayStation. And also comes with a back bling as well. Let's take a look. Ooh, look at that. Scribbles. Ready for a blast of color. Oh, she's got loads of spray cans. So if you're picking up the free PlayStation skin or anything else in the item shop, like what the heck is this? First of all, popping code Ali A. Thank you to everyone that's done it. It's the best way to support me. <laughs> what? That is actually so good. I am buying that instantly. And go and join the official Ali A Discord linked in the description. Submit your funny Fortnite clips for me to react to. This is from Mr. Zippy, who's also won himself a thousand V-Bucks. Let's see what's about to happen here, Mr. Zippy, in a top five situation. Ring is small. Loadout's looking pretty clean. Health and, and shield definitely aren't looking clean, though. Ooh. 
Enemies being spotted in the distance. Trucks coming over. Watch out! Watch out! Oh my god! He got sent to infinity! Nobody's speaking about the fact that live events and big concerts have almost disappeared. It is actually really sad. We used to get multiple live events every year. Huge concerts, multiple big live events with crossover events, original storyline events. This year, we have not had a single live event. We haven't had a full-on concert event in Fortnite in ages as well. But the good news is the storyline in Fortnite is finally kicking off, leading up towards a huge live event for this chapter. If you want to see all of that information, it's on screen here. Click it now to find out everything you need to know about their next huge live event coming this season.